hello everyone today i am going to create the roof of the shed the uh, link to the part one of this renovation project is available in the description box before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start with the tutorial this is where i have left in the previous video you can see that for now i am working in the existing phase and we are also going to create the roof in this existing phase now open new family template file of a structural truss you can also alter the size of the uh, dimensions of the truss in the project file but i am going to keep uh, change that uh, the, these dimensions in this template file so the length is going to be 20 feet and the height has 8 feet now select click on the top chord and draw the inclined two lines of this chord then select the bottom code and draw a straight line at the bottom and after that draw the web as shown in the video for more information about the trusses uh, the link to the tutorial has been given in the description box load the trust file in the project file and in the level 1 floor plan place it at its position enter the first point here at this one side of the wall and the other one at this opposite side and the truss has been placed now select and alter its uh, the dimension in this in the elevation so that it is placed on the walls the this truss is in steel and i have to uh, create it in the as a wooden truss so for that open a new family template file with the name structural framing beams and braces and then click on open it already has some built-in reference planes and the extrusion double click on this extrusion and then add some parameters to it as shown so that you can easily alter the length the height the width length of these uh, wooden frame once you have assigned the parameters save it and load it into the project there's one thing which i forgot and that is i haven't uh, given material to this to the to this wooden frame so apply material to it move mouse to this component then click on edit type and in this dialog box select this 
uh, family file which you have just loaded into this project and the wooden frame which we have just created has been assigned to this truss select this component with the help of tab button on keyboard and you can alter its dimensions from here i'm going to keep the length of basically which is the height as 8 inches and the width as 8 inches as well alter the uh, all of these dimensions one by one The truss is slightly above the walls, so change its dimension from here so that it is placed directly above the walls and it is attached to it. Then select and unpin this component and drag it so that it is joined with this component. Repeat this process on all of these components one by one. In the modify tab select cop and repeat this process so that none of the components overlap with each other. After completing one truss uh, select and copy and uh, copy paste it on the other sides they are basically total three trusses for this shed design now go to architecture tab select model in place and select structural framing from this dialog box set the reference plane to any vertical position then select extrusion and draw the structure as shown After extrusion, apply material to this component. In the 3D top view, select and apply array command. Now you can see that it is not moving in the horizontal position. So what you need to do is select this component 
and then click on the move command and uncheck this constraint and select this disjoint box so that it is disjoint from its reference plane on which we have drawn this then select this array command select last and place it on this side now they are basically fork of these components within these two trusses so type four in it and now for these four components have been placed now select copy and paste it on the other side as well i guess the trusses should be placed uh, at zero inches so that they are merged within the walls now select this double click on the wall to edit its profile so that the uh, wall and the truss do not merge with each other Repeat the same process on the opposite wall as well. Again select model in place, then structural framing, then set the reference plane to any vertical, uh, vertical plane. Go to the elevation. You can also go to the front in view of 3D. Then select extrusion and draw the elevation for this part as shown. In the 3D top view, adjust the extrusion of this beam with the help of the with the help of these arrows. Again, select model in place, structural framing. Click on extrusion, set the reference plane to any vertical plane. Go to the uh, front view of 3D or in the elevation and then draw the elevation of this of that part as shown. apply material to it then select this component and click on array command select last and then place it on this point click on 5 now we do not need this first and the last element so delete it select these three components and mirror it so that it is placed on the other side now you can also add these beams with the help of beam command i will upload a tutorial on that as well but as there are as there were only 
three of these beams for this uh, building so i haven't used that command adjust the extrusion for this for these components by dragging the arrow unfortunately i haven't focused on it and it has been extruded in the opposite on the opposite side so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime in the next video i will continue from here and till then goodbye and take care